So less than 24 hours to go for the much-awaited Grand Pran Pratishta ceremony. And remember this point, Ram Nagari, Ayodhya, is decked up. It's a festive spirit. Remember, Ayodhya is the birthplace of Lord Ram, but did not have the temple at the Janmabhumi of the Lord. And finally, that's set to happen. So clearly, expectedly, Ram Nagari all decked up with flowers, festivities, Ram bhajans are playing on every street in the corner, specifically heading to the Janmabhumi. Now, the streets of Ayodhya are also lit up. Up. Not just with diyas, but neon signs have also been put up in different parts. Look at these new visuals. These are the fresh visuals of the Ram Temple from the outside. It's lit. There are flowers that are adorned on the pillars. It's decorated and rightly so with the uh, anticipation of now 22nd January with the Grand Pran Pratishta ceremony. Now the rituals will be conducted to first clean, sanitize the Garb Griya, which is the Sanctum Sanctorum. Holy water from the Saryu River has been brought. Ramlala Idol will be given a divine bath, which is a Jal Abhishek, with the holy water from the Saryu River. This is, has been filled in 125 kalash. Ramlala's throne will also be washed with the Saryu water. And then there will be some rest given to the idol before the Pran Pratishta ceremony begins tomorrow morning and thereon it will be a living deity. But for this, remember, there is a fresh update that has come. Tomorrow morning itself, by about 10 a.m., there will be a majestic Mangal Dhwani that will start to play for the next two hours before the ceremony begins. What is that Mangal Dhwani? 50 exquisite instruments from different states will come together will play along, a special orchestra will be organized by Ayodhya's Yatindra Mishra, grand musician rendition will be, and that has been supported by the Sangeet Natak Academy in Delhi. Let's go across to Polomi now. Polomi Saha is in Ayodhya. Polomi, you know, I can only imagine just a day before the Pran Pratishta ceremony what Ram Nagri would be looking like right now. Tell us about this majestic Dhwani and also what are the last minute preparations that you see around you. Because for the Ayodhya Vasis, Polomi, you know, for us, it may be, of course, a big moment. But for those who have lived in Ayodhya, it's a historic moment for the books. Absolutely, you know, and I've been meeting, uh, you know, Ayodhya Vasis people from uh, Ayodhya across uh, the city. Of course, uh, today there are restrictions, so unfortunately for them, uh, there will be very little movement because already the guests uh, who are invited for the Pran Pratishtha will start arriving today. As a result of which, there are several, uh, you know, security restrictions uh, in and across uh, the temple town and especially around the Ram Janmabhumi side. So yesterday, of course, they were out in full numbers, uh, soaking in uh, the flame of, uh, uh, you know, Ayodhya and, of course, Ayodhya preparing itself for the grand Pran Pratishtha. And they did say that this is a historic moment for them. They were, you know, engaging in a lot of music, a lot of uh, singing as well along the Saryu Ghat when I went in the evening uh, as well. So they do realize what a big moment this is for their uh, temple town. So, yes, uh, the, you know, the atmosphere is electrifying because, like I said, there was a lot of music, there was a lot of playing of instruments and singing, and that's exactly what is expected to happen tomorrow morning as well at 10 a.m. When from the Ram Janmabhumi site, you might start hearing, as I stand over here, you know, the Mangal Dhwani. It will play on for two hours. That is uh, when, of course, the Pran Pratishtha after that will uh, begin. So... 50 exquisite instruments, like you said, from various uh, states. It will be orchestrated by Yatendra Mishra, who in fact hails from Ayodhya, is a music scholar, is a poet as well. And then, of course, will be supported by the Sangeet Natak Academy of uh, Delhi. Just to give you a sense, Pooja, of the instruments, and from various different states, these instruments are, are coming, and they will be, in fact, part of this extravaganza, this musical extravaganza, which will be the Mangal Dhwani. So from Uttar Pradesh, it will be the Pakhavaj, the flute, and the Dhola, from Karnataka, the Veena. Uh, then from Punjab, uh, you have the Algoja from Maharashtra, the Sundari, the Orisha, you have the Mardala, Madhya Pradesh, you have the Santur. From Manipur, also, you have uh, the Pung. From Assam, you have the Nagara or Kali. In Chhattisgarh, you have the Tambura. From Delhi, you have the clarinet from Rajasthan. Also, you have instruments, West Bengal, 
आंध्र प्रदेश झारखंड द सितार गुजरात द सिंदूर गैन बिहार द पखावज अगैन उत्तराखंड द हुडका एंड फ्रॉम तमिलनाडु एज वेल सो इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स फ्रॉम अक्रॉस ऑल ऑफ दीज स्टेट्स दैट विल कम टुगेदर टू परफॉर्म एन ऑर्केस्ट्रा अ म्यूजिकल ऑर्केस्ट्रा कॉल द मंगल ध्वनि व्हिच विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम 10 एएम इन द मॉर्निंग एंड विल गो ऑन टिल 12 इन द आफ्टरनून यू कैन जस्ट इमेजिन हाउ यू नो द एयर ऑफ अयोध्या विल रिवर्बरेट एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम पूजा This is basically follow me also a reminder that this is not just about Ayodhya it's a moment for the whole of India that's why you see north south east west uh, the best of the states with their instruments that will be together performing an orchestra this is a moment for India follow me thank you for getting us these updates follow me saha is reporting constantly from Ayodhya the last minute preparations and what the arrangements are like